Chicken P, what up, man? You already know what this is. I go by the name of Graph, you understand that? Black Hand is the label, we is the gang, what's up? I'm wild, I'm reckless. Life is the weak and the strong. And we decide who survive by weapons. We's pie dissecting. We grind and move nickels and dimes by seconds and drive by sections. And Big Chaz told me stop calling bitches bitches. Or the bitches might not buy my records. I'm a pimp. I tell a bitch, bitch, buy my breakfast. Blow my family jewels and shine my necklace. I'm wild, I'm reckless. I survive by my investments. I keep the fire iron by my intestines. I'm a ride or die for mine till I'm a die in them stretches. I'm hiding from the private eye detectives with them lie detectives and they trying to catch us. They got an artist in the precinct trying to sketch us. The nigga drew Chaz, now they trying to arrest us. Plus a heavy rapper got a wire in his necklace. Catch him in the morning, then he can die on his breakfast. I don't know what he's smoking. He high on asbestos. I rhyme with a message. I'm fire. I rhyme with infections. You a biter. You could die if you catch it. You a liar. I'm a fighter. You could die if you catch it. I kick a bone out your ass. Try and digest it. I kick your stomach out. Nigga, run your mouth. You die if you test this. I am the bestest. I was grinding in Texas until Young Buck said it's Tennessee in Tennessee. Now I'm buying in Memphis. Nigga, tell me which supplier to mess with. I get it. Don't tell a man with the bags that I did it. If your baby mama come holler, then I'm in it. She ugly, but she got a fat ass, so I hit it. I did it in the New York minute. The ice in my chain blew it in my New York fitted. My whole crew all in it. I box, I punch out. When I bobs, I weave, I box, I punch out, man. I don't care if you big. I knock a chump out. Even Shook Knight got knock the fuck out i pop the pump out i knock the guts out of your flesh i knock the blood out of hey i already know what this is man. i go by the name of grab boy boy i'm bringing to the producers man to the world at large the new mixtape the oracle 2 me and greenland and putting it together yeah, i remember i did the oracle 1 Smash the whole world. Yeah, I remember what that was. That was. That was one of my hottest tapes, man. So we had to come together and do a part two. And it took us about that was about a year, two years ago. Damn me, I put the first one out. I was never gonna do a first two, a part two, but um, public demanded it. Everybody was like, "Yo, the Oracle was crazy. The Oracle was crazy. You're gonna do another one." So I said, "You know what? It'd be a good idea if I did another one." So that's where we at with it, man. Oracle two. Right now, we got distribution from Koch. Shout out to everybody at Koch. You know what I'm saying? D, Allen, shout out everybody over there. Marlene. I'm talking about they supporting the project 110. percent I really appreciate it because I've been at labels where they lie to you and don't support you all day. So right now we're getting 110 percent support over at Koch. I'm talking about, but this is Black King. We always retain our independence as an independent company and as a provider of this music. I'm talking about. So we still retain our independence. Distribution from Koch. And it's on and popping, baby. You already know everything is like O right now. The single is like O. I see the smash single, tan up the clubs, tan up the street. You already know what it is. And it's all over the web. We just released a video, leaked it to the internet last week, so it's all over the fucking place. You already know what this is. The video got me, Buster Rhymes, my man, Prince of Mr. Lairman. Shout out to Buster Rhymes, too. He came through, showed a lot of love at the video set and on the song. Did his thing. It's a crazy record. You know what this is already. And the remix is already done. You know what I'm talking about remix. Super stupid. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to get all the names so early. I'll give y'all something though. We got Jim Jones. Shout out to Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Bird Gang and all that. My man Bun B killed it. Jada Kiss killed it. It's really retarded. There's a few other people on there. I'm talking about. You don't keep it top secret, man. Y'all niggas gonna figure it out when you figure it out. I'm talking about. You get it when you get it. But that's what we at right now, man. So everything is like, oh, and the album is on the way, man. The album is called Evolution. The evolution represents change. Represents just the changing climate of the game. Me as an artist, as a man growing, my, my views my views in general have broadened. My horizons are wider, bigger, greater shit, more opportunities. You know what I'm saying? I learned a whole lot more on my journey. So the album is called Evolution. Represents change. The album is almost done, really. Technically, it's done. But there's a lot of heat that I heard on the site. So y'all make sure y'all move your asses and submit me some shit ASAP. I like beats with space, big drums, big snare. You know what I'm talking about? So. That's where I'm at with it, man. So yeah, yeah, stay stay on stay on that note. And you know, I be on my New York shit hard body a lot of times when I go in, but I like music from everywhere, man. If you got that down south bounce, if you got that West Coast feel, you can have a European feel. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I love everything, but but the, the the core I like, I like bass heavy shit. I like that knock, man. Hard drums, big ass snare, space to get busy. You know what I'm saying? I had a record I spun a thousand times around the country. The labels would not give a damn what is on the record. I could be talking about raping cows. They would put that shit out. They ain't even gotta play it. They like put that shit in the CD and sell it. 
You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to earn a dollar. So it's not about the music anymore. It's not about you being hot. It's, it's the, the politics are corny, man. As a fan, I always give a damn about content, what MC has to say, what he's offering to the people. And I think a lot of the fans still do care about content. And it's about ringtone music and snapping and dancing all the time. I'm not saying you you can't have that. No disrespect to nobody, but music has to have a balance. Man. You got to have the joy. You got to have pain. You got to have a balance, man. We need content. We need subject matter. We need real material. We need to relate to something real. So I think the MC has to bring that across in his music. So there will always be space for real MCs and hip-hop. I think the main thing you got to do as an MC is stay ahead of the time, stay because the game is constantly changing, constantly evolving. You know what I'm talking about so you really gotta stay abreast with it and go along with the curve. Don't let don't get left behind in the past and you're stuck in no time warp or time capsule, thinking that it's still '97 and you getting mega busy and we over here. You know what I'm saying? Just stay with the times, do what you do, and keep you know keep true to your art, but keep it relevant. Stay with the time and you always be ahead of the game. A lot of my music is almost like social commentary. I'm talking about what I'm seeing as well as what I experience. You know what I'm saying? I, I talk about what I've done, and I'm talking about what I'm, what I'm seeing as well. You know what I'm saying? So you can tell the story about whatever you hell you see. The music is almost like a conversation. You know what I'm saying? It's not always about I, I, I. I want you to relate. So if you're seeing what I'm seeing, then we on the same page. Or even my music is also for the people who don't know shit about the hood and want to know. So I'm describing to you what's actually going on out here in Queens. I'm not on every block doing everything at the same time. But... I see it all. So you gotta, you know, you gotta address it. You gotta draw that picture so they understand where are you? What's the environment like? They, you, want it, you want it to be something they can touch and it's tangible. But at the end of the day, it has to be real. To me, to be considered a dope MC, if you ain't saying that, I can't fuck with you. I mean, you got all the fancy clothes in the world. I'm gonna be like, yo, sunk a rap. So, you know what I'm saying? You gotta say something along with all of that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to express a point within, you have a message within the verse. You know what I'm saying, whatever it is, if that's what it's about, if you can, dopest MCs to me can express a message in 16 bars and still be lyrical. Some niggas when they start rapping about content, they can't be lyrical no more. Now they focus on what they're trying to say. They lost the flow. You know what I'm saying? They lost the swag, and now they're trying to make a point. And you can do all the above, make a point, have the style, still have character, charisma, and swag all over that motherfucker, and you, you, you dope. The Oracle too, baby. You already know what this is, man. Greenlander, what up, man? PMP is going down, man. What's up? Let's get it.